beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from my birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to you we raise this our hymn of great In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, welcome to our Holy Mass. We come to celebrate this great gift of God for us, this, the Eucharist. We come together as His family, so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubbled, and the day that is coming will set them afire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will rise the sun of justice with all its healing rays. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Before the Lord, for he comes, 
for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day, we worked so as to not burden any of you, not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. We hear that some are conducting themselves among you in a disorderly way, by not keeping busy, but minding the business of others. Such people we instruct and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to work quietly and to eat their own food. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and raise your hands because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left one stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen, and what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you, are, see that you not be deceived. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first. But it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. Before all this happens, however, they will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues into, pri uh, over to the synagogues into prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking, that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, hello, everyone. Just good to be with you today. As we come to this 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, we come, of course, through the weekend, the, uh, the Sunday before, we go into uh, Christ uh, the King, the Lord of the Universe. And, of course, the readings today kind of prepare us for that eventuality. Of course, the liturgical year of the, ch of the church reflects uh, salvation history. You know, we began, of course, with Christ on the, you know, at, at baptism or at uh, his birth in uh, Advent, and then we go through Lent and then the crucifixion, then the long time of ordinary time, which reflects the growth of faith, you know, in the world, and then, of course, culminates with Christ the King, which we celebrate next weekend. 
And so we have this reading, our first reading from the book of Malachi. You know, he talks about the day is coming blazing like an oven, you know. Uh, it's coming to set people on fire, but you who fear my name, there will arise the son of justice with healing rays. Jesus, of course, in his second coming. And so as we go on to St. Paul in our uh, reading from Thessalonians this morning, that he talks about toiling. And in our lives, you know, we're, we're on this kind of uh, Christian exodus, so to speak. You know, we're in the desert of our life. As the Israelites were in the desert uh, back in the Old Testament. And so they travel to the promised land, going through all sorts of trials, difficulties, works, etc. But also they were accompanied by what? The Ark of the Covenant. The, with the, with the uh, tablets of the Ten Commandments, with the Word of God. And likewise, we travel through this world in our lives, our earthly lives, going to uh, traveling towards the promised land. And what do we have? We have the Word of God in text, and most of all, in the Eucharist. And so always, God is accompanying us uh, towards that promised land. And we are, when we are faithful, we will cross the Jordan at the end of our lives uh, to be with Him forever. And Jesus is warning us here that you will, you will encounter difficulty. You will encounter rejection. And yet always God is with us. His promise uh, overawes everything else if we stay with Him. Because the, the gift that He gives to us in our salvation is what we strive for. And so always remember that. Never be dissuaded by the difficulties we have in life. But know that Christ is always with us. He promises that. You know, and not a you know, and always think about the apology of uh, Socrates in this reading because Jesus says you'll be handed over by parents and persecuted and all this st stuff. You know, not the most not the most cheery reading in the Gospels, and yet he says, uh, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. You know, in, Arist in uh, Socrates, when he was on trial for his life. He says, you can do nothing to me. No, you can do nothing to a good man um, because what, uh, his goodness is inside him. You cannot touch that. And likewise, our Christian faith, our faith is within us. And so when we hold on to that faith, regardless of what happens in our lives, uh, God promises to bring us to his kingdom in heaven. And now let us together recite our creed of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us bring to God our needs and our petitions. For all who are persecuted or imprisoned for their faith, that they rejoice to share in Christ's sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peoples of every land, that they be free to worship God in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For victims of war, earthquake, and famine, that they receive help from all around the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for families divided by religion, that Christ restore them to loving unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, that we persevere in times of trial. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pause now to remember any intentions you want to include in this Mass, either spoken or in your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Almighty God, we thank you for the gifts you bestow upon us. Give us, uh, strengthen our gift of faith that you have bestowed us with, that we may always walk in the path of Christ, regardless of the trials in our lives, knowing the reward that you promise to those who are faithful to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ in the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 the Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our My Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe. and strength belong now to you. You laid down your life and died upon the cross. We become 
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.